Hi everybody, I'm Taylor. Welcome to my channel. This is a Mainstream Comics box. It's my first box with Mainstream Comics. They have things called Golden Duckies and other things. I don't know. Let's dig in and find out. I, I got it as unboxed as I could before starting the video just to save a little bit of time, which basically means I took it out of a priority mailer envelope. Um, yeah, and I just I got a feeling the comics are right in here. This is a Gemini mailer. And so I didn't I want to be surprised along with you guys, so, uh, yeah, let's dig in. This, I think, is, I can't remember the pricing, 35, something like that, 30, and then, well, maybe they'll tell me. Here's the invoice. One of one, ships on August 19th. Uh, nope, it's nothing. All right, nice invoice, though. And then, yeah, you get a chance at other stuff uh, with them. I, they do live shows. On Facebook and, and then they call out order numbers with your chance to win slabs and stuff interesting way of doing it I, I've never watched their stuff because I haven't ordered from them before but I will watch and depending on when this video gets recorded I'll either update it or I know it's being recorded I when it gets uploaded sorry details hard uh, I, I record some of these in advance just because I, me trying to do it live it's even more stuttery and random than it, when I do this and just talk to the lens so, I don't know when they're actually going to put this up. We'll see. Uh, all right. Well packed. Pull tabs, blue tape. Uh, everything's in a separate bag, which is nice. And, yeah, let's dig on in. Uh, okay. <laughs> By well packed, I mean it is well packed. It's just going to take me a minute to get into this. There we go. All right. What's inside? A number one issue, a variant cover, a premium artist cover, a new release, a reader, a golden ticket, and more. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start at the top because I don't know what order these are in. And uh, this one has a yellow sticker on the back. I don't know if that means anything. I'm not looking. And see what we have here. Oh, this is the, ra this is the variant. It's a ratio variant. Uh, Captain America 16... Now, variant edition. Uh, who did that cover? Heliopolis, I think. I think. Um, interesting cover. <laughs> so, there's your variant for the box. Um, I'm sort of peeking at these two, so I am going to actually. Never mind. I'll just now look down. Um, next, we have purple. Purple. I don't know if these stickers on the back mean anything. I really don't. But purple. All right, nice. Hellboy and the BPRD. Uh, th three of three. Mike Mignola. Uh, this, I think, is the reader, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. But, yeah. I like Mike Mignola stuff, and I like Hellboy, so not bad. I think uh, Mike's only doing the covers on these mostly, and he didn't even do this cover, so I don't know. Follow his Instagram, though. He, he makes uh, interesting sketches and stuff, and he's putting them up on eBay right now. So... This has a green sticker. What does green sticker mean? Oh, all right. This is probably the number one, I'm guessing. A little bit cheaty, I think. It's the the boys' free comic book day number one. Unless this is a bonus book. It might be. I have another free one down here in the next I can tell. So, yeah. And this is the tick free comic book day. I don't think the stickers mean anything. I, I Not that I can tell. So, all right, orange. Orange. I don't know why I keep saying the stickers if I... They don't mean anything. I'm sorry, people. I, I apologize. Oh, okay. The reader. All right. I have this before already, but this is like the the uh, birth or the first appearance of the Immortal Hulk. It's Avengers 680... Four, seven, three, somewhere in there. Um, this is a reprint. Uh, the, the original one goes for like 50 to 60 bucks right now, and it's climbing. So, Cool cover. Alex Ross cover. And, yeah, I think this is after he get shot by a nuclear uh, arrow by Hawkeye and then dies and comes back and realizes he, can die. he can't die. It's like Groundhog Day, but time keeps on slipping into the future. It's not at all like Groundhog Day at all, at all. And next, just to get off that topic, okay, the variant cover. thought I already had a variant cover. This is the variant cover. Uh, Fantastic Four, number six. Um. Cool variant. I think it might be Alex Ross again. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, very cool. Uh, I've not actually been keeping up on on uh, Fantastic Four a whole lot. 
I, I like the idea of them, and I like the older, like Jack Kirby, Stan Lee stuff. But uh, some of the newer stuff, like Dan Slott's writing it now, and I just, yeah, yeah. They need to get somebody else on there. Somebody, people have been saying they should get Chips Zdarsky to write it, and I think that'd be great. Chips writing Daredevil right now, and it's fantastic. And he wrote How the Duck. He's written a bunch of other stuff. He's a really good writer. Dan Slott, I don't know, did Spider Clones. So. Oh, premium artist cover. Okay. I don't know who did this cover either, so this one I'm going to dig into and see if I can figure it out. Oh, what I do like about these little colored stickers that probably actually do mean something, they're really easy to open, unlike somebody else's, some of, some of the others. So, oh, Sujin Jo, Sujin Yo. Um, yeah. Uh, nice cover. I, again, I really like that. Ms. Marvel's heating up to, I don't know, speculators. They're speculating. Number one uh, issue, Lost Soldiers. I already have this one. Interesting read. Uh, yeah, just came out like a month or two ago. Not bad. I like the art. Uh, it's about uh, soldiers who fought, I think, back in Vietnam and now are kind of mercenaries, the ones that are surviving and are on some other mission. And it's dealing with the repercussions of like what war does to the psyche and stuff. <laughs> kind of interesting. So check it out if you want. All right, the yellow. I'm, okay, I don't know what this is. All right, we'll get there. Nice. Oh, and the new release. <laughs> and Nick, Rick and Morty, uh, Bird Person. I need to actually watch Rick and Morty. I, I haven't uh, watched much of it, and so me trying to figure out what's going on in the comic is just going to be useless. So, yeah. Nice. All right, uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, these are interesting boxes. They're not like some of the others I've done. Um, I think, okay, so the Golden Ducky ticket is coming up. Golden ticket here. And uh, if I win something, I think it'll definitely be worth it. If not, I don't know. I am I am kind of torn on them. I like the idea of it, and I might try it one more month. And in fact, I know I'll try it one more month because I have one more month ordered. And we'll see what happens. Uh, not the best box, I don't think. Not the worst. Kind of average. Uh, if, if you have a different opinion on the matter, please let me know down below. I'm not familiar with all these comics. And um, if you had any experience, good or bad, with mainstream comics, just leave me a comment down below. And that's about it. Uh, don't be a dick. Oh, look, conveniently enough. Don't be a dick. Uh, yeah, I have t-shirts for sale that say don't be a dick. Link down below. A couple different versions. Other stuff on my site, taylorwinder.com. Check it out. Um, if there's anything you like, it, it, it's all printed on demand, and it gets shipped directly to you and stuff. So you can get it in your size, and you can do whatever. Uh, it all goes to help my comic addiction and keep this nonsense going. So if you like my rambling, and uh, you just want to help support and buy some stuff, That'd be cool. If not, that's also cool. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. That all helps too. If you hate it, hit the down button and go away. I don't know. Whatever. Seriously though, don't be a dick. Goodbye.